I grew up hunting. First, it was gophers with my BB gun, and then as I got a little older, it was elk, deer, and antelope with friends and family. However, I always dreamed of hunting a bighorn sheep. They are a majestic animal for sure, and the wild and high places they call home have always held a special place in my heart. So I began my journey of applying each year for a permit when I was 22 years old. Never missed a year. The drying odds are long, but I always felt if I just kept at it, that someday one of those golden tags would have my name on it. So this past April, when the drying results came out, I stared in disbelief at the screen when it read, successful, next to the sheet permit. Preparation and study began almost immediately. I soon came to understand the rams are up high in September and then begin to transition to the lower part of their range in October as they make their way to the rutting areas down low. I dreamed of hunting the rams in the high country and was determined to harvest one way up high amongst the cliffs and striking peaks in September. Odds are against this though, as the harvest studies of the years past showed most rams in the region were taken in November, much lower in the range. Nevertheless, I was determined. We left the trailhead late in the afternoon, knowing we likely wouldn't make the seven mile hike to our destination much before nightfall. The next morning, we climbed to a point on the west side of the mountain. We glassed for quite a while and initially didn't see any sheep. But over the next few hours, we spotted several different rams way up high. Around mid-morning, I spotted what appeared to be a mature ram across the valley. We rushed off the mountainside, determined to get a closer look at the ram in question. Somehow, the ram evaded us, however, and we retreated back to camp for lunch. That afternoon found us back at the same glassing point where we started out the morning. We saw some rams way up high on the opposite side of the mountain, but they were feeding and moving so fast, a stock would have been difficult at best. Around five o'clock that evening, I spotted the same rams that had evaded us on the stock earlier that morning, and the race was on. See if he comes up. They're looking no, back. I think so. You keep watching, right? You see them looking back? Yeah. Nice shot, dude. I hope so, Trev. No, I, you got him. I, I saw him buck. Yeah, I did too. And they're looking back like for him to come. Good shooting, buddy. Yes! So we saw this big old bruiser this morning when we were on our perch over here. And we made a run for him. But he gave us a slip. It was kind of frustrating because it didn't look like they could escape or find any way to uh, hide themselves. But he, he sure enough did. So we went back up there this afternoon and we spent about three hours glassing. And I'll be darned if we didn't glass him up again. And we were able to get down below him and he was bedded. And we had to wait for about a half hour. And then he finally stood up and it wasn't... Uh, much of a shot opportunity. I'm gonna say about three or four seconds. And then he dropped and I couldn't see him. So it's been a half hour hike up here and I've been on pins and needles, but I couldn't be happier. This is really special and special Travis is here. And uh, just 
just thank Mr. Ram and uh, truly grateful. He's just got barrels, man. Yeah. We counted them. He's, he's probably nine broomed. It was dark by the time we had taken care of the ram that evening. And the next morning, we hiked back up and packed out the meat down to the lake. His head and cape were heavy for sure as we walked down to the trailhead but there was a tremendous amount of pride knowing we had achieved our goal in every sense. The fruits of our labor were fully recognized a few days later as I prepared the meat for the freezer. The ram will provide over 60 meals for my family and friends, and I couldn't be more grateful. The hunt wouldn't have been possible without all the love and the support of our spouses, friends, and our family. Travis and I, we are truly blessed men. <laughs>